This is Maytag's legendary orbital transmission. This came from a working machine uh, with the only exception that the agitator shaft has uh, disconnected itself from somewhere in the guts. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to uh, rebuild it. And so that's what we're going to do. So I know there's supposed to be a retaining clip. It's supposed to be something like this. I just wonder, I mean, it should be in there somewhere, right? Yeah, we're gonna let this drain the rest of the way and then we'll get to, we'll get right back to it. All right, now that we got it pretty much drained, we're gonna, so I went ahead and removed the, the agitator shaft. I, I, this one is kind of weird. There's supposed to be a retaining clip here. I don't know what, there's no like spot for it. I have no idea how this would have stayed in place. All I could think of is that maybe this bushing or something kept it pinched in. I, I have no idea. Most of the time there's a clip like this and the way it works in is you squeeze it and it slides in and it goes like right here and it holds the shaft, keeps it pushed down towards the transmission, but I'm not sure. Uh, the next step we're going to do is we're going to remove this uh, pin right here. It's like a C-shaped. And then at that point, we could pull the bottom agitator shaft out. <sighs> Move that to the side. This gear will come out along with a piece of steel and a brass washer. And then this guy should come out. And then I think we could get this gear out too, actually. Yep. Okay. And that's that. This is a super easy transmission to work on. There's really not much to it. It's why they lasted so long. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up. One thing I forgot, there's a steel washer down at the bottom here. It acts as a bushing that kind of was stuck with the grease. There's also a uh, seal right here that we're going to want to pry out. And there's no real easy way to do this one. It's kind of like a metal. Let me see if I have something a little bit more. There we go. So you kind of have to like bend it in. The new one will fit um, nice and snug in here. I'm gonna go finish cleaning this up and then uh, we'll start putting this back together. So basically the assembly is the same as this assembly. And then this is a new agitator shaft. This one actually has the uh, the correct spot for that retaining clip. And so that one would go through the top and it would plug right in here. And then you would see there's a spot where you could squeeze that clip in there to hold it in place. So if it helps, you could grab the pulley and get it started.
And basically you're going to screw it in. So I'll put my hand in the transmission like this to keep it pinched. And then I'll just turn. <clears throat> and you see, it sets it in perfectly. And then pull out the tool and you have a perfectly installed seal. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, fill this up with oil and then we're going to seal the cover and then we're done. So this doesn't have a gasket, uh, it never came with a gasket. Uh, we are going to uh, just put some RTV around it, set it in place and call it a day. This is almost a full bottle. Probably right to the bottom here. Okay. Now don't worry about it going behind the gear or whatever. It'll all work itself out. Once you've put it vertical and uh, use it a little bit, it should be fine. So the last step we have is uh, just to put the cover back on and then we have ourselves a freshly rebuilt orbital transmission. So let me grab some, uh, some stuff, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll put, uh, I can't put anything on this, I guess. Well, you're just gonna have to look carefully. There you go.